y'all, it's your girl Mama V here and we are filming another Tongan dessert. Um, and my mom is obviously here, mostly doing it. I'm recording um, and assisting. Um, but we are making um, faikakai or also known as faikakai ngoa. Faikakai ngoa. So it's like with spinach or lu. So there's gonna be multiple things, parts to this because um, there's multiple pieces to it. So we have uh, spinach here. We boiled it. It's a frozen. Uh, it was frozen fresh, spinach, fresh. and then we um, we boiled it, and then now we are going to make it into a full liquid mixture. We're going to um, blend it. Can you bring one cup, the cup, mom? Because we have the measurements. So I know how to measure the stuff. I'm gonna show y'all real quick of the consistency. My mom's gonna now take over. Hold on. This is the spinach. So this is the mixed spinach. This is the consistency that you should have. Um, it's like smoothie like y'all see how it like see it's just smoothie it's just blended it doesn't matter how much blended you want it but make sure there's no chunks in there all right and then uh, i like to put a uh, one uh, like teaspoon of uh, nutmeg nutmeg okay yeah because it's to take you know sometimes the you know the the smell of the spinach spin okay yeah only one in a half is okay if it depends. With a one and a half teaspoon? Yeah, if it depends, if you have a lot. But and I'll put the one. measurements of the spinach yeah, later. Yeah. So on. And then now. Uh, and uh, then is. Uh, this is the tapioca flour. Only use it. Tapioca flour or tapioca stars. But it's the same. Yep. Give me the knife. So this is the yeah. version that she's using. Can it be any brand of tapioca flour? No, no. Only this guy. You, my only mom this likes guy. this brand. They get in a... A lot of Asian markets. Yeah. Or the Fiji market. They have it. The fish market, the one in San Diego. And we're using five bags? No, no four. Oh, no, not, yeah, it's four. But, four bags. Yeah, but the... Uh, Use the two and um and uh, put the one cup. You want to make sure what, what so you want to slowly mix in the spinach. Three cups. If they use fresh spinach. Should you you still boil it or you can just blend the spinach right away? This is um, but I like to boil it in the. Okay, so if you're using fresh spinach, yeah. you just have to boil it down, um, you know, but until it's soft, and then you can blend it. Yeah. If the the talo leaf is a, uh, you cook it first. Let me bring a close up of the consistency. <laughs> So like regular fried kakai is usually just brown or white, and so this is the the green one with the spinach. Yeah, it's supposed to no, uh, it's supposed to be green, the color. And then uh, open the other two. So 
So we're on our third bag. So yeah, you just want to slowly mix it in, y'all. And you know what? You might as well just make big batches of this because it takes so long to make anyways. It makes no sense to make a small batch. So I would say this, the size thing we're doing, probably the smallest you want to do. So every time she scoops it, she's putting a whole cup. Y'all comment below what next dessert. This actually, the ngoa of, um, was a um, request in our last video. Uh, what's the last video we did? Oh, the ota. Um, so yeah. Christmas, uh, Christmas Day. Uh, Thanksgiving. We filmed it Thanksgiving. Oh. So if y'all have any uh, other suggestions, I can always ask my mom. So you just want to make sure, see how at the bottom of the tapioca starts to kind of yeah. pulse up there? That's why you want to mix it in slowly and then she's kind of scooping the bottom to make sure it's all mixed in. Do you know why you use tapioca flour instead of regular flour? No, it's the regular flour is different from the, this is the tangoa is different from the regular faikakai. So the regular faikaka you would use regular flour? Regular oh, flour. okay. Yeah. That's a good distinction. So if you ain't using tapioca flour, it ain't faikaka in Owa. Only the tapioca starts to make it for the tangoa. You guys had tapioca starch in Tonga growing up? Yeah, we uh, grated the, the maniocas and the squishy. And the water's come out and leave it uh, like for the... Oh, to dry? No, and leave the water and then the, this one is... Uh, the bottom part? Yeah, and the bottom oh, part. Oh, so you guys did it with manioke? Yeah, and sometimes it's a, it's a kind of a, of a tree. It's called it's long, long. So that was way it's longer. A, it would yeah. take a longer process. Yeah. Now that we have some uh, modern but, tapioca starch, yeah, it's, it's a little here, bit easier. Over here. Oh, I see. So it's even more of a process um, if you don't. Say, go, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to use my hand. The hand is better way. To make sure it's to mixed. To make sure everything is mixed, mixed together. Hands. It's like the, what's the last one we mixed with the hands? The keke isite? The keke isite. Yeah, so she was just saying it's easier to fill around and make sure that everything's incorporated. Cause you kind of have to like, you see how it's like, she's like smushing it like this. All right, while my mom is mixing, we have these regular standard trays. I don't have butter spray, so this is what I'm using. Just regular butter and a napkin, that's how we used it back in the day. Or if you have the stick butter, you can use, you know, obviously just unwrap half the stick butter. Is that so much? No, it's okay, you can make it all the way up. Oh, on your side? So my mom's adding about one cup of water. Only water. It, it looks green, but that's because we just use the same yeah. cup that we blended thing. But about a cup because it's going to help soften. Yeah, when you and, scoop. And when it's cooking. Because the cornstarch tends yeah. to, you know, make it like restricted or hard. Um, so yeah, so you can run that again. So that's the, that's the yeah. way you want it. You want it runny. Yeah. Consistency. Yeah. See. In Tonga, did you guys grow it up? Did you guys have uh, vanilla or did you guys have to make a uh, different type? No. You guys had vanilla flavoring? Yeah. If you're not used to real uh, vanilla bean? bean. Yeah. Oh, vanilla bean grows in Tonga? Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, my mom grew up in Vava'u, so a lot of things grow in Vava'u. This is what day two. Nobody has heard word from anybody in Tonga. Did you guys have volcanoes erupting? My mom's actually near from the island near where the recent volcano erupted, but they were fine. Miraculously, you, uh, we put it. Don't put too too much uh, in the tray because you want to cook fast before it's. Uh, see. Yeah. So this she's halfway, less than halfway yeah, in the tray. Yeah. Oh, so you 
Oh, I thought it was gonna be like little balls. No? No, if you want the, uh, uh, you know what, the balls with the foil off? Yeah, but this one is more easier. To do? Oh, okay. Yeah, if you want to put the foil in, bake it or steam it, it's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can make it like a little dim sum or like a little pouch and foil? Yeah. And you can, um, yeah. steam um, it. But we're gonna make it in the oven. And you put this, this is one, a good beginner's version of it. one in the oven in it. So we have, make sure you all preheat your oven. Don't try to put it in um, right away before you preheat it. Um, so we hit preheat the oven to 350 degrees. All right, so my mom's gonna tell you, show you two ways in the oven, the big foil pan and then also in foil. Yeah, don't know, leave long out. When it's put in the foil, run away to the run, run, oven. run away to the oven. Yeah, so my mom is saying, don't leave it out, don't let it sit out. Be because it's the cold, uh, the tapioca, the tapioca start to start setting. So now my mom is gonna show you how the other way people do it in the foil. Do you know if I ever go to Tonga or somebody who has like a umu contraption, I'm gonna film that for y'all. Where's the butter? If you guys never seen how umu is made, y'all need to see it on YouTube. Google it. It's such a process, but it's like smoking meat, with traditionally. You're supposed to put the butter. You don't have to stick on the foil. kind of crimping the sides to create a little pocket. This is a little bit of a harder way, huh, mom? If someone helped me to put the thing in that and I hold the point. But the first one, if you want, you have a a steam uh, cooler is the first one. Yeah, you can steam it or bake it. Do you think, mom, when you steam it, it's more moist? Do you like it when it's steamed more or baked? But this one is okay if uh, whatever I steam or thing is the same. Uh, yeah. What about fakakai, regular fakakai? Uh, steam better? Uh, the regular fakakai is put in the water. It's the fakakai in the fire. How much of it? Yeah, I, I make it. It's better to steam that one? Uh, no, it's uh, put in the water. Put it in the but water. The, yeah, but like the, the foil in the water? Oh, you uh, mean no. like boil it in the yeah. water? Yeah. But the fakakai manioga is supposed to do it. You want me to steam it or? No, we can bake it. it. Or bake, bake it. I don't. I only have a steamer in the. No, only put in the kulo with the rice. But it's okay when it makes you. Want. I mean, if you want to put it in the water, yeah, we can do that. I want to see the difference, if there's yeah. a difference in taste. Yeah, because it's not a lot. Yeah. Give me a what? One. Keep your own out. Okay, let's go. Y'all, I painted this table pure white by myself, and I made the mistake of a couple of times leaving the tablecloth off, and the kids got it, and the crayon, it just won't come off. It's okay, let me do it. So we, we just filled like a regular a pot the, yeah. with water, like this is a and it should piece. only touch about halfway. <laughs> this is how you steam when you ain't got a steamer. Yeah, because you don't want the foil, the water to get inside. How long do you think we need to steam it for? Until it's um, when you um. You gotta check it now and then? Yeah. So there's one. Yeah, because it's, when you see it's dry. Yeah, it's dry. Don't worry about this one when you turn over and 
take it cool and all the see yeah see how it comes out yeah. one thick piece that's how you know it's ready all right well you can flip it on top and we're gonna let it yeah. cool upside down Woo. and the one in the pot is cooked too okay okay oh goodness you want to open it the this is a steamed one. Oh, so it's a lot more stickier, huh? Yeah. In most. How do you know if that one is cooked? Did when you stop the like timer? This, there is no more water. Okay, when it's yeah. sticky like this, you don't want any yeah. jiggly, like, you should be able to flip yeah. it over and it stay in the foil. So that's the consistency you want, y'all. That's how you know the steamed ones are ready. Did you stop the timer? Yeah. Okay. So we baked it for about a good 42 minutes. Well, um, well, this was 42 minutes and this was probably half the time, huh, mom? Yeah. Like 20, 25 minutes for the steamed one. It's really cool down. It's easy to take it out yeah. from the foil. So once we cool it down, then we'll come back again yeah. and then do the lolo. I'm excited. Woo! Look at it that. Smell good. Did you smell the... The, the nutmeg? Yeah, I do smell yeah. the nutmeg. So yeah, if y'all were here, or I could uh, portray the smell, you can definitely smell the nutmeg, and that's what uh, my mom mentioned earlier in the video. They like putting nutmeg because they don't for the spell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Mm. Oh, nice. Alright, nice. let it cool down. So my, mom's, so my mom started taking the ones out of the foil. Yeah, it's good the tip. You might want to put your hat on, sis. So I might catch you in the background. <laughs> in, the, in the logo, and then uh, make my face more easier to come out. Yeah, so this is. Yeah. If you have the. um, But this is. If you will have uh, the, the spray, spray um, more like easier. the olive oil yeah. butter spray. And the, uh, your fika guy will probably come out easier, but we only had the actual butter. So see? my mom's kind of scooping it out and using the oil, the, the sauce, to make it unsticky. It's called roll of fika guy. Lolo, if I can guide. Did you go upstairs? Did you go upstairs? Look how pretty that oil is, though. Look how pretty that is. Be quiet, Dad, we're filming. Everyone. <laughs> Everybody else in the kids got the clip, but you, Dad. <laughs> it's the last one. Y'all can see kind of there's there's very similar consistencies mm -hmm. or textures. So shiny. This is a little bit more this shiny. So, I'll let so y'all know if what the the steam one. If I was recommend the steamed or the baked one. And she's taking out the last one. The lolo, the lolo is big long. My mom's now cutting up the steamed it's one. Easy when you. Is that steamed, mom? Yeah, it's the steamed one. Oh, okay. So you can pre-cut it, <clears throat> put in the ice um, or the fridge, and then you can put the lolo drizzled on top when you're ready to eat it. But my mom's using the um, oil as kind of like um, kind of like butter for it to not stick together. Okay, lolo. Did you eat this a lot when you were growing up? No. No? Because it was hard to make? No, only you make is a special thing. Oh. Like a fucker or something. Yeah, that's only when I made it. Mind you, Mom, I would say it's 10 years since you made this. Or longer. Yeah, since we were kids. Longer. When I mean the Dongan Church, huh? Yeah, which we left the top, probably when I was in elementary. So yeah, that's over 15 years, right? Yeah, 15. So my, now my mom's cutting into the baked one. It's more stickier, huh? Oh, it's still hot. I can a moco. What do you say when you when we burn ourselves? Eel, oku my. What? How do you say it? Like you, it just came out the fire. How do you say it? Oh, we burn ourselves, and then you'd be like, yeah, it just came off the fire. Yeah. How do you say it, Mom? That's what I'm going to say to you. Goi bina hao me afi. 
No, not fun. Not funny. <laughs> Tough crowd tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try the cooked and the baked one. Yeah. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna try the. This is the steamed one, and then I'm gonna try the baked one for y'all. It's okay, Mom. Don't know them will walk out yet. Yeah. I want to try the, the other one too. The bake to, to compare. Just one or two pieces. Woo. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yummy, yummy. Alright, I'm going to try it now. So this one is the, um, the boiled one. Boiled one. You want a bite? Look at that. The good. I'm gonna compare it to the baked one. The this is the cooked, the baked one in the oven. Yeah, I think, well, the edges, they're kind of, they have like a glaze on it, so it's a little bit harder. It's not super hard, it's like a crust. And that was a little bit more chewier. It's not a big difference, but this one's definitely more soft in texture. The boiled one. I think I preferred the the, the one that's been um steamed. Alright, y'all. That's a video, that's a recipe. Took two days of film. Thank you, mom. Wanna say bye to the folks? Bye everybody. Call me. <laughs> you need to have like a guy. <laughs>